Hey everyone, welcome back to another math tutorial. Today I'm going to be simply explaining how to rig a person so you can animate him or whatever you'd like. So let's go to rigging here and imports. You may already have one, a person. I already have this guy right here though. Um, he's going to be need to be scaled in a second, but we'll fix that. Alright, so let's go to this little guy right here and do create skeleton. It creates this massive thing. It's called a human IK. It's basically a default, um, Thing. So you can actually find this guy if you go to TF3DN and click characters and it'll take you to this guy and that's the first one. Alright, so now we have the skeleton, we can go into front view, click this right here so you can see the joints kind of like x-ray. And let's move these joints. Put them to where they are. Put this more down to the foot. There is this one issue though, as you can see right there. So let's enable that in here. And maybe push that back a bit. Oops, that was the wrong one actually. Push that back, not too much. Kind of, you kind of want it really in the middle of the joint. So that's pretty good. Let's have this foot back a bit. Push down more. Take this and put it up. And we don't have to do this to both sides. I'll show you why in a second. So let's go back to here and select that foot joint. And with this still open, we can click this and it will mirror it. To the other side, and as you can kind of see, that's pointing in a bit, and that's pointing in a bit too. Let's see the light grid, and so nicely mirrors it, so you don't have to do half the work. Um, so uh, this is pretty bad actually. So I'm going to push these up a bit. Um, maybe this one a bit more too, and. That can go higher. This should be kind of in the middle of the head, middle of the eyes. Alright, so that should be more about there. Think about that as like your clavicle. And this is your shoulder. Um, now let's put this here. And put this hand here. And rotate it. So, let me see what else. There is going to be one issue, as you can see right here. That we'll have to fix. So let's put this in the middle of this dude's arm. Actually, that first. There. I like that. And then, um, yeah, so we can go into the side view now, actually. And it will help us um, model our, our person. His fingers easier. So, and for our fingers here, sorry about that little break right there. Someone came into my room. Um, let's. Rotate this a bit like that. Um, we can do this more into perspective mode in a second. So we want to have that there, kind of where the knuckles are. And just like that. Kind of put that to the knuckle. Rotate it a bit. There, okay. So if we go into here, we can see that they're not... They're, it's better than nothing, but we want to make this a bit nicer. So maybe... Press F so we can kind of rotate that around this better. Push that in a bit more. Maybe we want this in a bit more. Um, rotate that. There. That's that's pretty nicely in the finger. I'm going to try and get this as close as possible. Um, I'm going to just... No, actually, I'll just record all of it. And there. I'm going to rotate that. I'm gonna rotate that limb. I mean, not, it's not a limb. It sort of is a limb. Um, there. The thumb is kind of, I guess, the hardest part. Yeah, sorry about that break. Another person came in. Um, let's see. Can I keep modeling this more? Or swording, I should say. You wanna kinda get this as great as possible, otherwise, it will be kind of complicated later on and you might get distortions in the skin. We'll have to bind the skin loops later. And I'll show you how to do that. Let's push that up more a bit. Put that more. And right. You can skip this if you want to just do it a bit more yourself here. You don't have to watch this. Um part. There we go. Okay. So that's basically good enough. And what we can do is we can click that right there and just mirror 
and it works just lovely like the foot. As you can see, it's all perfectly there. But we're not done yet. We now have this, but it, let's say we do that. Nothing's going to happen, so we need to bind the skin. This is what this will do. So, click, let's go, yeah, okay, we're in object mode. Click that, and then click that little right thing right there. So we have both of it selected. Clicking that pelvis will select all of it. Let's go to skin, and then bind skin. And then we'll have binded the skin here, and everything is a nice little rainbow. It might take a tiny bit, and there might be um, some bar right there. Depends how detailed I guess you're doing it. But now you can kind of see we have a thing we can sort of already rig, but it's not done yet. We can make this even better by where it says here. You should say character one. If not, just click that and get it. Do source and then control rig. And this might take a second. There we go. Now we have basically created this thing that we can't distort. The other thing we could kind of pull the limbs out and it wouldn't look as good. But now we basically have, um, if I had done this a bit better, I did it really fast. But the more time you put into it, the better it is. See how it's kind of sticking onto there. I guess this should be more down and etc. Um, I could select that foot basically. Whoa. Um, I guess that kind of just rotates that. Um, you really want to select the foot, um, not the disc right there, the actual circle thing if you can. There, and then kind of put his foot, I don't know, rotate it a bit. Maybe like, simple pose. There's one thing you can do, uh, right here, and this is called stance, I think. And that usually... Maybe it's because that's only selected. Um, let me see. Should put him back to a default default position. I don't know why it's not doing it for me. Why? Anyways, that should do it. But uh, now we have our rig guy that we could animate. So for example, I could create a simple animation here. And it should not distort unless you've done it pretty badly. But the more time you spend again, the better it's going to look. So I don't know. Um, create, I mean, play our animation, his arm rotates, so, yeah. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.